This is one of my ground summer setups. It's took me a while to get this tarp set up like this, but it's nice. Wind's coming in from that direction, obviously. Plenty of places to tie this tarp off here, so. I mean, this tarp is a bit massive, really. It's a DD 3x3. Three don't really need that, you only need two metres by three metres for one person really, but this is the one I've got, so this is the one I use. I'm, I'm thinking about investing in just a British Army one or something like that. Got some additions to my kit today because I've been to the Bushcraft store in um, Enfield. Good shop, helpful, friendly staff in there. I recommend it if you live near there. I've got one of these Webtex basher poles just to hold that up. Got an old army tool roll. Gun cleaning kit apparently, but it's quite handy. And um, got some other bits which are at home. Got a small cup. One of these folding ones. Can't do it one handy, but yeah. Um, got my hobo stove on the go. That's the Highlander roll mat for anyone asking. Someone did ask the other day on YouTube about the roll mat. That's it there. You can see it's not very, it's not very thick, but it does the job for the summer. And it's good for you underneath your hammock in the winter. Sleeping bag and that's in there. I don't know if I'm going to stay tonight because I've got some other things to do, but it seems to waste when you set all your top up and that, especially when it's a lovely day like today and it's not raining, but it's all practice and practice makes perfect, apparently. But setting your top up is something you should just do all the time because every time you do it, you find a new variation and then you can log that variation in your brain. and use it when you need it in different situations but I think when I go walking this is going to come in really handy because there was a time once when I got stuck up on the brick and beacons and there was no woods around and I thought I was going to have to stay the night but the mist cleared and it was okay but um, this and this would have been fine wouldn't it and my ground sheet and my thing for the night there was a deer stand in there a minute ago a little, ti a little tiny roe deer staring at me and it started stamping the floor. I'm going to get back to my cooking anyway because I'm hungry. Ta-ta. This is the other thing I wanted to show you quickly. Oh, camera's not very good. This is an Imco Streamline 6800. I get on with this better than I do Zippos. If you don't want to use your flint and striker and you want to use a lighter instead, these are quite good. Because that lights up. Um, actually, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one-handed, but basically you light, you light it, see your flames going. I'm going to have to turn it, uh, put it out because I'm doing this one-handed, but then this comes out, so it's like a match so you can stick that into your hobo stove to light your um, fire lighters which comes in really handy don't burn your fingers on the metal like you do when you do it with a zippo or if you've done it with this normally okay, cheers